Hello, I hope you find this video helpful. I got locked out of my IKEA cabinet uh, two days ago. My toddler had played with uh, the combination that I hadn't used for probably about a year and uh, I had forgotten it and uh, she locked the cabinet and I didn't ha did not know how to get back into it with, without, a, without the combination. So in this video I'll show you how to recover that combination just using a simple tool. Uh, this is the kind of IKEA cabinet I'm talking about. I like this kind of. This is a simple one. Goes along a desk, and I think they probably make several cabinets that use this kind of combination lock. And you could use this technique for any of those kind of cabinets that have this this kind of combination lock, this three-digit combination lock. So this was the situation. I had this drawer open because I get into stuff in and out of it often. And this was probably in the open position like this. And I probably just had their number, the correct number combination here. And I just left this open like this for months like this and just used it like a normal drawer. Didn't really use the lock. And I think what she did was she came in here, closed this drawer like this, turned the combination like that. And then you start playing with the numbers like this, like that, then all of a sudden, you're locked out, so you can't get into the cabinet at all. And without knowing the combination, I was pretty much locked out of my own cabinet. So I am going to show you how to recover that combination using a simple tool. Okay, this is the tool I'm going to be using. It's a very, it's a sharp knife, it's a steak knife, but it's super, super thin and it's got a really good little fine point on it. Um, you need a tool very similar to this. It needs to have a nice little point on it that you can feel around on and it's got to be super thin so that you can get in between these, on the, on the, in between these number dials and be able to feel around on them. Uh, Okay, so that's one thing. Uh, this is basically how this is working here. Then each of the number dials is just basically a circle with a knock on it. And we need to find that knock. We're using the tip of this knife to do that. So we're going to use the tip of the knife to find that knock. And we need to do that three times So for each of the dials. So we need to find three knocks. Once we find the three knocks, we'll be able to open a combination. Okay, we'll start now. Here is the first number. And we'll start here on the, on the left hand side. And I'll just put the knife in here, point down along that wheel. And I'll slowly turn it. I'm feeling for that knock. Just turning it. and feeling for the knock. There, I felt it go down, so it went down like that. It's pretty obvious when you hit it. Small, the knock is pretty small, but if you have a good tip, a little tip there, you should be able to feel it when it falls down along there. So I'll go and set it to five, because that's the number closest to the knock. And again, I'm doing the same thing on the second one here. There, I felt it go down right there. So it, I'll go to one because that was the closest to the knock. And same thing here. This is the third one. And for the knock. There, I felt it go down. So move forward to the next the closest number, which is gonna be four. So that's what we got. So now at this point, we've got the three numbers and the knocks are all facing upward. So that's actually how we had to do it because we needed to find them and we had the knife to find the knocks. But we actually need all the, all the knocks to face downward. So we need to rotate this whole combination through 180 degrees to be able to get to the correct number. And the easiest way of doing that is just rotate each one of these together and just make sure you have them even. And just test each one. Um, that's the easiest way. You could also just rotate 180 degrees, but you might be off by one number or something. So if you just do each one, you know you'll get it. OK, 
is. I think we're getting really close now. And, yeah, and that's it. So, so now we get now we can open it again. So that's pretty much it. Dun, dun, dun.